Hi everyone, this is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, we are here on campus at Microsoft and we have the chance to have some of our IoT partners, some of our top IoT partners here on site. And I took the opportunity to grab Josh and to have him tell us a bit about what they're doing. So Josh, thanks for joining the IoT Show. Great to be here. So Josh, what are you, what are you working with? What is your company doing? We are a company that's a technology business. Uh, we're focused on the built world. We're wanting our uh, customers to do more through technology. Mm -hmm. And we see IoT as an amazing opportunity for the built world to transform. So what are you, you're talking about the build world, so it might not talk to everyone. What are the typical type of projects that you guys special, that uh, Willow specializes in? Great. Um, we specialize in focusing on real estate. So real estate's a broad church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of different types of buildings in real estate. So if we think about dividing that up into various verticals, commercial real estate, so yeah. big towers, residential, mm -hmm. uh, office buildings, retail. And then there's obviously others like stadiums and healthcare and airports and infrastructure. Um, I believe it's one of America's largest employer. Um, it's, it's a huge industry. So how do you see IoT technology impacting that industry? What are the changes that you, be, being in that industry, are seeing today? It's really interesting. Uh, I think that we have had not the same opportunity that we have today ever in our history. When I say our history, the built world hasn't had this op pivot yeah. opportunity. So I think if I go right down to the device level, mm -hmm. a building like the one we're sitting in today has so many IoT devices in it that just aren't gathering data today. Okay. Even static data that sits around that device, so the warranty information, uh, how to maintain it, it's just being lost. Mm -hmm. If we then consider people and flow and what people are doing with, with the spaces, it's a massive opportunity to collect all of that data and we've been focused with Microsoft on not just IoT in and of itself, but how can we connect the device, mm -hmm. the person and the place and bring it together into one solution mm -hmm. that's interactive, that's easy to use. We often say in our business, let's connect the seven-year-old. My son's turning eight, but when he was last year he was seven. Let's connect my son, who's a seven-year-old, mm -hmm. and the 70-year-old into the technology. Let's not make it hard for them to use. But that all sounds like science fiction, though. Yeah, so right, is it, right. <laughs> but is it actually things that you're already implementing, creating these digital twins and offering them as services to whoever is going to operate or own the buildings that you're working on? Is it something that is actually real today? Yeah, it's so exciting. Like, it's only new. I think it's like what internet was like in 2000, mm -hmm. where we could find stuff quick, you know? Um, so it is, it's real today. Uh, we've had a few things that have helped us get there. So if you think about GIS maps, yep. that helps us get context. Mm -hmm. Building information modeling in the context of a building. We can see space, width and height like we couldn't see before. And because of great companies like Microsoft and your partners, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the, the building management systems have information mm -hmm. in it that we can we can uh, pull out we can we can we can get okay and then because of the the power of the intelligent cloud and the intelligent edge mm -hmm. we're able to process that data at speed real time and so for us if we can bring all of those things i've just described into one interface yeah. it's immensely powerful and i'll just finish on these two points Look at two aspects in the world of the built world. How can we increase the performance of that building or the portfolio of buildings by yep. decreasing the maintenance cost, by decreasing the energy consumption? So on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. And then on the right-hand side, how can I create an awesome experience for the occupant? And just like Microsoft is all about empowering people, mm -hmm. we're the same. We want to empower the occupant. We want to empower the owner to get more from the built world, not less. Got it. Why Microsoft? Why Azure IoT? Like, are there like specific reason that comes to mind that that you decided to bet on Azure IoT as a technology partner for your business? Look, I I didn't know this until I started on the journey with Microsoft. But what I have discovered as a CEO and as a partner with Microsoft that partnerships, I do feel and I believe this, are in your DNA, and you you have truly partnered with us. And I think that you know. Often what we feel is that you're such a huge company, mm -hmm. how could we partner with such a, a giant? And in some ways, it's been a great experience for us because you've, you've almost put us on your shoulders. 
And so I use that Isaac Newton quote, we can see, we can see further, we yeah. can see further because mm-hmm. you'll put us on your shoulders. And so I think that partnerships are about trust. Okay. They're about um, reliability. And I think for us as a, as a company that's hosting data, mm-hmm. a lot of yeah. data, for buildings, it's pretty important, you know, for cyber cyber security reasons, um, for the purity of that data. We often say to our owners, "Who owns the data?" They ask mm-hmm. us, and we 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 say, "You own the data. You, mm-hmm. You're the owner of the building, so therefore you own the data." And I think Microsoft's policy on data mm-hmm. has been a one of the big reasons we we've uh, we've we do, obviously you don't mind the data, so okay. that was a big thing. I think your security, mm-hmm. um, your reliability, your authentication and how we can sort of use different tenants um, mm-hmm. into the data has been very solid. Awesome. If you had to use one little sentence, one, two words, even like five if you want to, to describe that partnership between Willow and Azure IoT, what would it be? We can have a massive impact together, more than we could do separately. Awesome. That's more than three That's words. That's more than three words, but that works. <laughs> impact. Like it. Impact. Awesome. Thanks yeah. a lot, Josh. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching the IoT show. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.